Hello everyone and in this video we're going to take a look at how to break an egg in Houdini. So this is going to be our final result. So before we get started a little bit of self-promotion. Anyone interested in any of my commercial trainings you can visit my website uh, rohandalvi.net. The link is given below in the description. Alright, let's get started with our training. Okay, so what we have is uh, I have a very simple setup. I have a sphere because the first thing we need to do is we need to model our egg. So I have a sphere which is like 0 0.5, 0 0.6 and 0.5 and then uh, just give it a taper. So that should you know give you a basic like egg shape if you want. Okay, okay and then uh, I rotated it 90 degrees and we need to do a boolean. Okay, so just take a boolean and we're going to keep the operation to shatter. Okay, and the we're going to take a simple grid like this and give it a mountain. So this will be, you know, the thing to break the egg into like two pieces. So you can see the break over there. Okay, now we want to separate out the two pieces so I can sort of animate it opening up. So what you want to do is come down to the output primitive groups and turn on uh, B inside A, A only pieces and A B pieces. Okay, uh, this is uh, I have I can never remember which one. So just sort of turn on all of them and see what works. And if it doesn't work, then just do a manual selection. Okay, so now uh, take a blast. And we're going to have to separate the two pieces. So the first one, I'll just pick up uh, A B pieces and also pick up B inside A. So that will get rid of, you know, the inside stuff. And then uh, take another blast. And that will be uh, A pieces and again uh, B inside A. Okay, so we have our two separate shells. Okay, so let's animate this. So what I'll do is I'll just take a transform and I'll come to the side view, I'll press insert and just move up the pivot to somewhere around here. Okay. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's good enough. So press insert again to go back to normal and then uh, just duplicate this. So do control C, control V and I can put it on this and then we're just going to animate these. So I'll do, uh, we'll do alt click. I'll come to, let's say, 36 and I'll just animate it like that to about 60 degrees and we can do the same thing with this which is you know we come down here and come to 30 let's do like 30 so they kind of move at a different pace and this should be minus 60 or let's try minus 55 okay so we'll get like you know we'll get something like this okay so that's good now uh, the only thing we want to do is uh, in because this will be used for collision we'll have to give it some thickness so just take a thicken so take a labs thicken and we're going to use flip to generate the egg or the liquid inside the egg uh, and in order for the volume collision to work you generally want to keep the thickness a fair bit okay so come to thicken and make it something like minus 0 0.5 or okay that's too much let's try minus 0 0.4 okay and then take a reverse and do this for both so we have you know like this thing opening up like that and we can merge these together Yeah, that's okay. And then uh, take, it It has normals. So we just want to delete those. It's not really going to make a difference, but we're just going to delete the normal so that we can see it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we just have this. Okay. Like the outside stuff doesn't matter because the egg is going to be on the inside. Okay, so it's fine if like that part intersects because it's going to fall down anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, maybe slightly lesser. Let's make it 0 0.3. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is fine. Okay, now, uh, so the shell stuff is done. Uh, as a final thing, I'm gonna take a transform and we're just going to move everything up. So just take this and you know, because it needs to fall down, I'll just take it like there. 
So we have, you know, let's just play it in real time and see what we get. Okay. It's a little slow, but that's, that's fine. You know, like you can, the animation speed you can adjust later. Okay, maybe we can make it slightly faster. I think that should be okay. So, yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, so now uh, let's make the let's make the liquid inside because technically that's the size of our egg. You know, like that hosted mesh you're seeing, like that's supposed to be the size of our egg. So I'm going to take uh, we'll duplicate this transform and I'll bring it in here. And the first thing we want to do is we want to take a peak and make it smaller than the egg. Okay, so just take a peak and push it inwards. So about minus 0 0.025 or let's do minus 0 0.03. Okay, so it's it's much smaller than, you know, like the actual egg. Yeah, so if we ghost the original egg, see, there you go. You know, so it's about that small. Okay, so now this is pretty much done. So now we just want to create uh, some particles in here so we can use them for emission. Okay, so you can just, you can do a couple of things. You can use the, the volume source, like, uh, you know, there's like a there's like a flip source in here, flip dop source. I'm using dops. I'm still not entirely comfortable with the new flip sop. So I'm using the flip dop, okay. So you have an option called a flip dop source. You can use that, okay. Uh, if you don't want to use it, you can just take a points from volume and that should also be fine. So I can just take a points from volume and we'll just plug it in. And what I want to do is uh, keep the jitter to one and get this to 0 0.02. Okay, so we have like a fair bit of points. And then I can just put a null here and we'll call it out source. Okay, so that's pretty much done. Now uh, let's set up our DOP network. Okay, so let's take a DOP network and we'll call it uh, egg simulation. Okay, and then, uh, and then let's just connect this to the first input. Okay, let's jump in, we can do a basic setup. So take a flip uh, solver and we need a flip object. There should be nothing in the, like by default it looks for something, so we don't want that. And uh, let's just plug this in. We'll also take a gravity. And then take a, type in source and you'll get something called as volume source. And this will be only active for the first frame. So do dollar $FF equal to equal to one. Okay. Change the source to source flip. And we can set this to first context geometry. Uh, clear this out. We just want to source particles and remove the group. So what this will do is it should bring in, you know, our egg. The problem, you make sure that you delete the group because by default, it looks for a group called particles or like in this case, it's looking for a group called P. And if you haven't made a group, it's going to cause issues, you know, so just make sure you delete that. Uh, Okay, now I want to do a couple of things, which is I just want to set this up. So the default grid is like ridiculously huge. Uh, we don't want it that big. So, and I also want it on the ground. So come to the flip solver and come to volume motion and you'll find something called volume limits. So turn, come to volume limits, take the Y axis in the box size, do copy parameter and paste it into the box center and divide it by two. Okay, so that brings it to the ground and then just sort of, you know, scale the whole thing down to a more reasonable size so that our simulation will go faster. Um, I think I can go smaller still. Yeah, okay. And then come into the flip object and you can turn on close boundaries. Okay, so it's going to hit the ground. And if you've done everything right and I press play, I should just get this. Okay, now, uh, the first thing that, that we want to do is we want to make sure that the particle separation here is connected to the points from volume. Okay, so just right click here, take copy parameter, come up to the points from volume and paste it there. So paste additive reference. Okay, and then we can come back into the egg. And now if I make this 0 0.02, that is controlling the points from volume. Okay and press play 
and there you go okay now this is like for now we'll just keep it to let's do 0 0.05 so it will be a little bit faster we can adjust it later okay now we need to actually make an egg so uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to turn on the add viscosity attribute okay in the flip object and then come into the flip solver come to viscosity and turn on enable viscosity and viscosity by attribute okay now copy this and come up here before the outsource take a type in float so we have attributed just float and we can drop that in over here and uh, the attribute name will be viscosity and just for test I'll set this to set always and we'll make a value of 100 okay now if you've done it right if we press play this should have viscosity there you go okay so it's pretty simple you don't need to do too much what i'll also do is i'll come into guides and we're going to turn on viscosity and actually don't turn on viscosity come into particles and change the visualization attribute to viscosity and then we'll just set this up okay now what we want to do is we want to make an egg right so let's come in here i'm going to come into the flip object let's just make it 0 0.03 so we can see it okay okay now come in here into the attribute adjust float let's call this okay let's call it viscosity and then i'll come to the pattern type and we'll set it to radial okay and then let's just visualize this temporarily yeah okay so zoom out and it should be there somewhere yeah so what you want to do is this will be here in the middle and this one so this is going to be the size of our yoke you know essentially so just drop in there and there you go okay so we have our you know we have a yoke in there now what we want to do is we want the yoke to have a higher viscosity and the outer liquid to have you know the white to have a lesser viscosity so uh, uh, let's get this up to one okay and let's get this down to zero and then we're just going to like you know squash it in like this and just you know in take it out like that over there like all the way out so we get like a really big yeah there you go i think this is good okay so this is fine and now uh let's just set up the value so uh, what you want is somewhere around let's make this about 50 and let's make this around 2000 now it won't be able to visualize it because those values are too high so what we can do is we can come in here and now let's make it look like an egg okay so what we do is we take this range you can say detect range okay or you can type in the values that you type in so we had like 50 and uh, whatever like 2000 okay so we'll just do detect range and let's just set up the color so we'll make this like an orange or a yellow and then that should be like a white okay and i'll just press d and make the points a little smaller okay and then uh, let's make the background darker as well okay so if i press if i press play it, this should pretty much give us what we want okay let me just save this file Okay, so press play and that is what you should get. See, there you go. So it's pretty simple. You know, like once you once you can set up the viscosity, it actually, you know, works out quite nicely. See, there you go. You know, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so this is done. Now let's set up the uh, the collision. Okay, so because that's the more important thing, right? So we have our egg, you know, and what you want to do is again type in source, flip dop source. And what we want to do is we want to change this source to collision and let's drop this in. So we'll get this and yeah, let's make the size to around 0 0.05. So it has a little more detail to it. Okay. And uh, let's plug this out to the second input and let's hope we've done everything right. So what you want to do is we want to take another volume source. And this one will be set to collision. 
And what we can do is in the flip object, we can come to visualization and we can turn on collision. So you'll be able to see it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just make this small. Okay, and plug this into the third input, which says volume velocity. Okay. And then uh, set the input type to second context geometry. Okay, so let's see if this works, right? If I press play, you should be able to see the... Yeah, there you go. If the, if the collision is thick enough, you won't have any issues. Like it'll be perfectly fine. Okay, so if I turn off the... Or actually we can press W. Yeah, there you go. You know, so you, you won't see it in the beginning. It'll show up once it starts to do its job, but there you go. Uh, let's get the timeline shorter. Let's make it around like 70. Yeah, 70 should be fine. Yeah, there you go. You're done. Okay, now uh, now we need to set up the egg on the outside. So let's uh, take one thing. Let's take all of this and we're going to duplicate it. So control C, control V. And what I want to do is take this thicken, like get rid of, we don't need the reverse anymore. Take this thicken, make it 0 0.01. So it's like really thin and you know, this should be fine. And let's just merge it with this to see what we're getting. Okay, it's mostly fine. Okay, like we can do, we can cheat a little bit now. Okay, so what we can do is I can take, <coughs> I can take this and give it a slight bit of a peak. Okay, like I can come in here and give it like a peak of 0 0.02. Or maybe like 0 0.01. Yeah, okay, to both. So it's like, you know, it doesn't give you that much of an intersection. And we can also like come into the, the flip source over here. Let's make it 0 0.02. Let's try to do this again. Uh, let's also do one thing here, you know, like let's push this inwards. This is the only part that we need to work it out a bit. Okay, like let's take this, let's make it minus 0 0.01. Yeah, there you go. See, that's a lot better. Okay, the rest we can take care of, but that kind of, you know, yeah, there you go. See, so you just need to adjust the thickness a little bit till it's sort of fine, you know. Yeah, like if I play it from a distance, it should look. Okay, so this is good. Now let's just do a little bit of coloring and, you know, do a final setup. So uh, let's take the points from volume and we'll just increase it a bit. So I'll just set this to 0 0.02. So we have like a fair bit. And uh, let's just play this. If you want, you can add like more particle forces or something if you want to do that, you know, like you can make it more, you can give it like a little bit of noise or something. Okay. Okay. So now let's just separate this out. You know, so we want the yolk to be separate and the, you know, the whites to be separate. So uh, let's just take, uh, let's take a group by expression. And I can set this to points and we'll call it, uh, let's call it white. And we'll do uh, at viscosity is less than 500. There you go. Okay. And then take a split and we can split this out. So if I just take white. Yeah, there you go. So see, now you just have the whites. And then uh, we'll just, I'll just take a null so we can just see the egg yolk. Yeah, there you go. See, so you have the yolk. Okay, and then I can just take, uh, you know, let's call this yolk. And actually, you don't need to, but you know, just white. Okay. And take a, you know, take a particle fluid surface. And I'll set this to surface polygon. 
and let's just so what we want to do first of all is come to your points from volume and this is at 0 0.02 right so make this uh, 0 0.02 okay like that's our particle separation and then uh, I want it smoother than it is right now so you can increase the influence scale see so that makes it a little bit smoother and then along with it we also want to uh, come into filtering and I'll turn on smooth and final smooth you know so just like give it a little bit of smoothness so it sort of works out yeah and do control C control V and this comes in here yeah there you go see so this kind of if it if it flickers too much you can change this to like Gaussian and that will smoothen it out you know more than it should but it will be better you know you'll get a better result yeah I think I think we'll keep it to Gaussian okay now uh, you can also do one more thing which is uh, if you there is an option here where it can actually subtract uh, using the collision okay like this uh, let's just uh, we, we, I won't change the name now because if I change the name it will have to re-simulate but I'll just take a null out here and we'll call it collide and what you can do is you can bring this out here and in the particle uh, fluid surface you have the third input which is collision object so just plug it in there and it has this option in regions called subtract collision volume so if you turn that on see it will actually like you know delete that much which is great so you won't get any intersections you know with your actual this thing okay. and you can adjust the collision offset if you want to like you know it's so it'll eat up a little bit more you don't need to do that with the yoke because the yoke is inside okay. and as a final thing i'm going to take another float node so we'll take attribute just float and i will set this we'll call it alpha this is just for fun and i'll set the value to 0 0.6 and then we need to put it for each one so this will be an alpha of one and it should also be here you know like if I come into this point it will also be on you know like that value and then we can just color everything so just take a color node and yeah like control C control V yeah and this will be orange Yeah, and we can merge everything together so what you have now is you have two separate you know pieces that so you can give them different materials if you want to yeah so there you go see so now you don't have any intersections there you know so that is nice you know so like the egg isn't really sort of peeking through Yeah, so you can define like this is a test but then you can define the resolution you know how much you want if you want like a more detailed egg or whatever and you know you want to do like a rigid body fracture on that you know all of those things you can sort of take care of but yeah there you go that's how you break an egg in Houdini okay, okay so um, that's pretty much it